all life came from a, a last universal common ancestor, all life that we know about on the planet today. We affectionately call that, you know, Lupa. That was the root from which all life stemmed at least three and a half billion years ago. First came bacteria, then another branch called the eukaryotes evolved. All the complex life forms like fungi, plants, animals, including us. In the 1970s, scientists discovered a third category of life that was entirely new to science. They called it Archaea, meaning the ancient ones. The trick is not to lose the bottle in the hot springs. It's a single cell form of life that's really quite amazing. Oh. We know in these hot springs, if it's acidic and really hot, that there really isn't even any bacteria. It's all archaea. If you were using this as a, a hot tub, you would be poached alive uh, very quickly. But if you're an archaea, you have to live in these environments. Many scientists believe archaea are the earliest form of life, older even than bacteria. But Professor Young was looking for something else. To our surprise, no one had ever come to look for the viruses that live uh, and replicate in these hot springs. He uncovered something remarkable. The archaea were riddled with viruses. It's been a, you know, a rock and roll ride looking at these new viruses because they're completely different to any viruses we've ever seen before on this planet. An ancient life form with ancient viruses. This discovery convinced Professor Young that viruses are much older than we previously thought. What we think now is that the viruses certainly are ancient, that they were here when life was first evolving. Some of us even push it a little further and, and speculate that viruses actually preceded cellular life as we know it today.